Welcome to the Florida Literacy Coalition's GED Math Video App. We developed this free phone-friendly resource in collaboration with CrowdEd Learning as a study aid for students who are preparing for the GED. As many of you have already discovered, there are many math videos on YouTube. Sometimes it can be difficult and a bit overwhelming finding good quality videos on the subjects that you need. This app tries to help you with that by identifying and organizing free videos that cover the math content areas aligned to what you need to know to successfully take your math GED test. You'll find a collection of Khan Academy videos which we believe to be an excellent resource for math instruction. Within the app, navigation is simple and you will primarily use the four buttons at the bottom of the screen. You will find the welcome screen, the browse section, the search button, and the completed section. In the browse category, you will find the five different content areas included in this application. In the foundation section, you will find videos that are building blocks for the rest of the sections. In the basic math section, you will find videos that cover the computational skills that you should perform without a calculator, for example, fractions, decimals, and percents. The videos which represent the majority of items on the exam will be found in the basic algebra and the graphs and functions section. If you are short on time, you should focus on these sections first. In the geometry section, you will find a number of videos about shapes and prisms. After algebra and graphs, the geometry section is the most important. When you click on one of the sections, you will see the subcategories of that section. Pick a subcategory and you will see the collection of videos included in that section. Once you select a video, you will be able to play the video immediately from the application. I'll show you an example of that now. Find the place value of 3 in 4,000. You may want to rotate your phone to make the video larger or click here on the full screen button so that you can view the video in a larger size. You will see topic information and skill information and you'll note that most of the videos come from Khan Academy. Lower down on the page, you will see an opportunity to track your work. You will notice that there was a checkbox on this video before I clicked on it, and that is because I had marked this video as complete. You will have the option to change this date at any time or leave it blank, and you'll see what happens once you do this later. You'll notice I can turn it on and off, and that will change whether or not I have a checkbox on the previous screen, and I'll show you that now. If I click the back button, it'll take me back to the previous screen, so you may need to use this back button quite frequently while you're using this application. You'll notice that I had unchecked this video, meaning I have not yet completed it. But if I know that I have completed it, I can check it straight from here, and that will make it easier for me to track which videos I have already watched. You can also add notes to the video, and if you do add notes to the video, they will be saved for you only and you are the only one that will be able to view these notes. And you can also view the video in Khan Academy. So if you are working with a teacher who monitors your attendance or tracks your progress in Khan Academy, it may be a good idea to open the video in Khan, and that may also give you an extra number of activities that you can complete which match each video. However, if you do not have a Khan Academy account and you do not want to do that, you can simply watch the video and practice the practice problems contained within the video and then move on. Remember, you're probably going to want to use that back button once you finish watching a video and you complete a section so you can continue working on the list. If you are done with the entire section, you may want to back out of that section and it will bring you back to the longer list. You will also notice at the bottom of each list, you will find a topic quiz and when you click on it, you will see questions written similar to the GED test. Although they are not provided by GED, it will give you a small idea about what kinds of questions you might see related to these math topics on the actual GED exam. Once again, you can hit that back button and it will take you back to the screen where you may choose an entirely new section if you are finished with any section or want to move around. A second option for navigation within the program is to use the search button and I can type any word. For example, slope is a very common topic that a lot of students need to work on. So if I type that word, I will see all the videos contained in the application that match with slope. And you can then start clicking on these videos and you can navigate that way. You may click back and forth from browse to search 
and you can also check out your completed video section. You will see at this point I have completed a number of videos, and it's somewhat your choice whether or not you decide to type in a date and a time. Heading back to the browse section, one of the most important reasons to check off a video is simply to keep track of what you've already done in each section so that you will know what you've watched and what you need to continue to watch. And you can check off any of the videos simply from this screen. For example, if you know that you already understand the fraction basics or you already understand how to reduce fractions to lowest terms, you can check that video off without ever watching it. It's your choice and this is simply a tracking feature to help you navigate through the program. The main sections that you will probably use in this application are the browse and the search feature and we will always need to use that back button to get back to this main screen so that you can navigate to new sections. We really hope that this application helps you as you continue to study for your GED math exam and this app is proudly presented to you by Florida Literacy Coalition in partnership with CrowdEd Learning. While we hope these videos are helpful, we recommend that you also take advantage of local GED classes and other instructional materials as you prepare for the test. Thank you for visiting and happy studying!